Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters. You're going to see it on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has approximately 12 to 13 archives so that you'll really understand how he looks at the market, how you ride the wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm very well, thank you. Good, good. So spring is yeah. sprung, that's for sure. Is, that's for sure. Yes, it's the the door is open to spring. I'm I welcome it. I love spring and I love summer. Yeah, I love it. That's right. With all your tennis and when I was listening, you know, it was so cool when I was listening to uh, you and Steve, and then you were a sprinter and you you know you didn't meet Bannister, but that's pretty cool. That whole deal, man. And you look like a sprinter. You still look like a sprinter. <laughs> well, the body doesn't want to admit it, but yeah. <laughs> I love it. So let's talk markets. What do we got here? So what we're looking at here is, um, so I've been negative on the Dow. We made that double top. Uh, the top was on the 21st of March. And what I said is I'm anticipating some kind of a rotational thing, and I'd use the um, nine-period moving average and 14-period moving averages to say when they cross negative, uh, that's usually for me, I call it the indicator of last resort. When they finally turn down, that usually gives you quite a bit of a pullback. So that's what we got right here in the Dow. So we had a, um, we, we have core long positions, but we had a short term, we have a short term trading position, a one to one short that we've had for co quite a while, taking some profits off it. But at the same time, yesterday morning, because I looked at the patterns, let me just open this up a little bit. I think it'll be a little easier to see. This, this kind of arch formation where the price gets taken out, there's a daily chart, and then it comes down, and I'm watching the MACD start to expand, but the histogram, those are the little vertical lines, is called the 0% line. When it's above zero, that's positive. That's just telling you that the nine period moving average is uh, over the, the 14 period moving average. This is, a, this is a nine period differential, it's actually okay. called. And that to me says once it starts to move up, you've got to be careful because yes, the price could deflect lower, but it's also telling you that there's now there's been a change, an internal change that could be a change of trend, but at least the, the gravity of the downside has stopped going down. So I like that. I like the fact that the volatility index now I hardly ever use the VIX index for the Chapman wave notation. It's the only one that I don't. But it's surprising how many times lately the peak Ds and Es have given you sharp pullbacks in the VIX index. Look, here, 17.94 on the 14th of February. And look, that sharp pullback. That's where the markets started rallying. And we had this on uh, today's uh, Tuesday, on Friday. It went to 21.36. And the more work I did over the weekend, the more I thought, you know, if there's even a hint of some kind of peace, in, the, in the, even if it's just very temporary in the Middle East, you could see gold pull back. You, you could see uh, oil pull back. And if the VIX pulls back, they could help the market. And that's all I was looking for because it needed, I needed that to confirm that there could be a rally. So yesterday morning, we went back to add to the long position in the Dow, uh, a little bit aggressive, but we've got that. And tomorrow, I'll probably take off the short position. I just wanted to keep it there as a little bit of insurance. It's only one-to-one. -one. The aggressive uh, long side, we've got a small position three times long. So there's, it's like a two-to-one advantage for the, for the long side. So let me go back to the Dow to explain what I'm looking at. I'm still concerned that the weekly chart has pulled back very sharply. But if you look at that now, you remember I talked about the nine-period moving average being green. If it's over the 14, that's positive, And it goes pink when it's negative. Look, it's still quite a look. That nine-period moving average in the weekly chart, the middle chart here, is still very strong. It's turning down but it hasn't crossed a negative. So I'm anticipating that we've got some kind of a bounce here. How the bounce uh, lasts maybe through this coming Friday, this Friday at 4 o'clock, is going to be determined a lot for the weekly chart. But so far, the long positions work quite nicely here in, in the Dow. 
And I'm also looking at this whole rotation because um, we had a very sharp, we've been, we've had Bank of America for some time. It ran up to 38.35, we're taking a little bit off. But look at this, it pulled back to 34.15. And you saw the same thing with this MACD being weak, but look at that big turnaround in the histogram, those little vertical lines. And look, here it is at 38.26. So I'm anticipating that this is continues to be a rotational market. The stocks, like we still have Microsoft, is still kind of digesting sideways. But I'm, I'm looking at this and saying there are some areas that I think are actually, you know, look, all of a sudden you've got the XLF, which is the financials. Here's Bank of America doing very nicely, at recovery high, uh, yearly high at this particular point at 38.27. And here's Bank of America, the uh, sorry, XLF, Selects Financial Spider Fund. Look at the wheat monthly chart way over here. Look at that beautiful cup formation. It went to a higher high than the high in January of 2022. Something I'll talk about in my show. I've done this so often. I can't believe after uh, two years, more than two years, a price can go from 41.70 down to 29 and then comes back within pennies of that previous high to 42.22. We've seen that in so many markets. Um, so it's quite fascinating how prices come back and then bump into that resistance. But if you look at the KRE, we've, we've tried this before, it didn't work out. But now I think the action in the regionals is a lot better uh, in this move. If the KRE trading at 48.82, is able to get into the 49.50 area in this particular run, I think that'll be the first time that you're actually seeing that the yields that have moved quite a bit higher are actually improving the outlook now for some of the banks. And region, it's really important to have the regional banking index not crater, but to start moving higher. I mean, that's Mr. and Mrs. America, right? Well, um, you know, what Pat's also saying is that it's saying that these rates will come down because if the rates don't come down, they're going to get smoked. Yeah. Yes. Because correct. of the commercial real estate. So, yeah. Right. So, but I think it's, I mean, just looking at the market generally, it's really important that you finally get something in the regional banking area. Oh, yeah. So, and that's, that's one thing that I think is quite important. So, I'd spoken to you about this DBA, which we've had for a long time. This is the DBA Agricultural Fund. So, it made an all time high uh, yesterday. I think it's ready for a bit of a pullback, but what's fascinating, it has CC, which is the, um, Cocoa, which has gone, I mean, look at this monthly chart. That is unbelievable. Look at that move up. Just, uh, this is still a single leg from September of 22, uh, 2022. We've not had a peak yet. This is still that same leg to the upside. It's an incredible move from the 2000 level to what was the high 11,700. So I think it's ready for a bit of a breather. Now, if that happens, then if, if the commodities can start to come down, even for a little bit, I think it gives some relief to the to the general market. So uh, we're in a, it's kind of complex right now. I like the Dow. I like some of some areas that are starting to improve again. Some of the stocks we've we've had, we've got. I'm going to add back to some of the positions we've taken off. So I think um, I'm looking forward to the next few weeks. Folks, come on over to web, our website at TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters right hand side. You're going to see the opening call. Hit that button. You're off to the races. Baz, love a great one. Safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. Thank Stay you. right there, folks. Come right back.